Welcome everyone to today's Subnautica Below Zero video. This is going to be a little bit of a combination of both a mod showcase video as well as talking about the mod challenge I was going to do with this mod until I dug into it a little bit more and thought about it a bit more and realized it just did not warrant a full playthrough. But today's mod showcase is the Manage Creature Spawns mod, which does exactly what the name says and lets you choose how to manage the creature spawns in the game. You don't like a creature? Get rid of it. It's one of the tags, taglines in the description. So you don't like Cryptosuchus? You can turn them off or you can reduce their spawn rate to, you know, 5% of what it normally is. So just like any other mod, first thing you need to do is download it. And there is a link in the description below on where you can get it. So once you download the mod and you open the zip file and you have the Managed Creature Spawns folder and you drag it over here into your Subnautica Below Zero Q Mods folder, uh, the next thing you need to do is actually go into it and see this generate settings.html. You want to open that as I have done in the background here. So what this does is it configures the settings file for or generates the settings file for it. So we're going to set it to below zero because that's what we're going to use it for. We're going to add a creature. And now you can see I have a large number of the creatures or all the creatures in the game, including things like the Sky Ray, Ice Worm, Arena variation, uh, Precursor Droid, anything that is a spawnable creature in the game, which is why and i'm going to point this out there is no ice worm because the ice worms are not regular spawnable creatures they're special animated you know triggered event creatures so you're not going to be able to dis disable the ice worms but you can disable any of the others so let's say you want to build in the void you don't want to be harassed by the void chalicerus you go to uh, chalicerata void and you can turn off allow spawning or you can let them spawn and turn it down to 1% chance of or, you know, spawning. Reduce it greatly, however you want to do it. And once you have the file or the configuration the way you want, hit generate settings. You see here, I've got a settings thing here. All I'm going to do is copy. And after copying it, I'm just going to select settings. And you can open it with either notepad or if you have like I do, notepad++, whatever. As long as it'll open a, a plain text file, it will work. And you see we have a sample here i'm just going to highlight that and i'm going to then paste that in and once i save it i can start the game and now no void chalicerates here we go i have got a brand new game started with a special set of settings for the mod that i put in uh basically my my challenge idea for this was that we are showing up a little too late our sister did not find an antidote. Instead, her research caused a mutation with the bacteria, which led it to become far more aggressive. And it has now begun spreading to all the creatures, killing them. And basically at this point, we are showing up too late. We are showing up when all the creatures have already been wiped out. Basically, there's no animal life in the world. And while that might not seem so bad, that as a challenge think about it i've got a little bit of food and water that i collected there and now i should have no fish around anywhere no fish at all so as a challenge it would be a case of i have no arctic peepers i have no boomerangs i can cook uh to eat i have no bladder fish i can turn into water to drink so my food supplies are limited to what I can find either from the Altera locations or of course the plants, which after I thought about it, having no animals around is not really a problem because hey, look, frost anemone hearts right here along the way as I'm going towards uh, outpost zero. So one of the locations you go to anyway, you could get some plants along the way to eat right there. And they're not really that far away. I mean, it's kind of far away. It's not that far away though. You can certainly always eat some other uh, plants as well. But it, after I thought about that factor, I was like, you know, that's really not that big of a challenge. And that brings me to the only other thing I could find with this mod, with this setup, of having no creatures to be a challenge. And that is the cold. 
because if you are a fan of the cold suit, of using the cold suit to keep warm, there's no snow stalkers in the game with the way I've set this up, which means there's no snow stalker fur that's easy to get. Granted, that's not easy anyway, but as I thought about it, there are some places where snow stalker fur does spawn in as a loot drop. That's just something there on the ground. You don't even have to get it from the snow stalker, so you don't have to make the spy pingling. You also have at least one container at an Altera site that you do get a piece of snow stalker fur out of. So it was a case of, again, it's only a, it's a, it's an inconvenience. It's not as much of a challenge in this case. So that is why I decided to do this as more of a showcase video for the mod instead of it being an actual challenge series because the challenge actually ended up being just very minimal. So one other thing that this mod could cause as a bit of a challenge is if you turn off the sea monkey spawning and of course you use them to get supplies during the game. If you don't do that, it's not going to make a big deal. But overall, this is an interesting mod if you just want to change how things look. You don't like a certain creature because the way it sounds or just it's annoying like Void Chalicerates. You can turn them off. You can cut their spawn rate down. You can massively increase their spawn rate. You can have a lot of different ways to make use of this mod and of course if you want to do so first thing you gotta do is download it so follow the link below to do that and of course if you do try the challenge i outlined where there are no creatures in the game leave it in a comment below what you thought about the playthrough with no creatures around to keep you company